Hello guys welcome to my humble YouTube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Daily Life of Slime Family, Tensura x Slime no Dao Shite, by Ren Bo LTE. Chapter 57 Mightiest Attack After the Devil Twins Beheaded Fezzle, The Members Still Haven't Wake Up Yet, Nay, Ramirez Sensei Why They Haven't Wake Up Yet? Ask Shalsha, they lose too much blood, even if all the injuries got healed I can't just replace the blood they lost. Said Ramirez, so what are you two gonna do now? Asked Milam, we at least gonna help Mama to dispel the barrier around the goddess. Can you heal Mama Ramirez Sensei? Falfa answered. I'm afraid I can't Rimuru has told me to leave Azusa alone and Azusa seemed doesn't want that as well. Replied Ramirez with tired expression. Falfa and Shalsha then turn to look at Azusa who is still fighting in the front, even though she look like there's nothing wrong with her Falfa and Shalsha know exactly that Azusa is struggling to defeat even a single soldier, Mama is acting tough. We can't just sit back here, thought Shalsha. Master. We apologize, but we can't sit still anymore, me and Shalsha gonna go help Mama. Said Falfa, Veldora and Milam hearing this just laugh loudly, making the twins confuse. Kuahahaha. So you two are just gonna try to break that barrier right? Asked Veldora, why yes. Falfa replied, wahahahaha, leave it to your aunt and Veldora. Just follow us, replied Milam excitedly. Veldora then turned to look at Ramirez and said, Ramirez, stay here to guard those who injured, us will join the war. Ramirez just nodded and turned to her adult form, leave it to me, mentor, she replied cheerfully. M master. Dot let me and Falfa handle it, said Shalsha shocked when she heard that her master and their aunt are going to join the war. Veldora just looked at them and said, My disciple, I will show you the peak of Veldora killing art style, so just quietly follow behind us, Veldora said with full of confidence. Milam also take off her cloak and standing beside Veldora, try your best to keep up with us Noda. She and Veldora then disappear in front of the twin's eye. TCH. We gonna left behind. Flare excel. Shalsha then summoned her daggers and went into full speed. Ha! Super Sonic. Falfa also summoned her weapons and went along with Shalsha. The distance between them and the goddess is quite as Fran when he arrives he teleport all of the La Infernal into the safe place using his space magic. High in the sky, a beautiful figure can be seen floating while observing the battles. I will fulfill Yuto wish. And turn this world into a better place. Free from the demon lords. Freya mutter slowly while resolve her heart. Then she realized that. Dot two, four, figures rushing toward her into full speed, is there a mortal that fast? Well, whatever, meteor rain. Freya just give them a glance and summon many many house size meteor. Meanwhile, Veldora and Milam who are still rushing toward the goddess sense that many meteors is falling down in their direction, but Veldora and Milam just smile, Ramirez. I leave this pebbles to you Noda. Shout Milam as she continue running with Veldora. Ramirez from afar hear this and quickly summon a spirit, alright. Gravity spirits magic. Zero gravity. As she cast the wide range magic all the meteors suddenly stop and floating in the sky. Ramirez sensei is so powerful. Mutter Shalsha quietly as she witnessing Ramirez magic, don't get distracted Shalsha, we're left behind if we too slow, said Falfa sternly. Freya who is in the sky of course saw it too, queen of the spirit. Have I broke the balance of the world? These two mortals who approaching me might be dangerous, she though and cast a magic that distorted the ground to slow them down. So she finally noticed as E.H., Milam, don't fall behind, Veldora said and increasing the speed of his running. I should say that to you Veldora. Milam replied as she keep up with Veldora, the reason that these is running and not flying is, to look more cool. They easily avoided all the obstacle without slowing down, the goddess seeing this got quite angry to them since she feel as if her pride have been hurt, these mortals dare to approaching me, she said angrily. The twins meanwhile seemed to having a bit of problem while try to pass the obstacle and get left behind. When Veldora and Milam has reached the calculated distance between them and the goddess they immediately jump to reach the goddess, we're finally gonna do this Milam. Don't mess this up. Said Veldora with wide grin on his face, yeah. You too Veldora. Milam replied as she clenched her fist mimicking Veldora. True synchronization. 
They're both said loudly as they mimicking each other's stance that seem to release a punch. Falfa and Shalsha, who seeing this is in awe, their both movement is more precise than the shadow in the mirror. How is that possible? said Shalsha clearly in shock. This is the peak of master martial arts, said Falfa calmly while watching with full of attention. You lowly mortals dare to approach me. Now get crushed and die. Multi layer divine barrier. Shout Freya as she using most of her divine power to make many barriers intending to crush down Veldora and Milam. Freya is confident that her barrier is almost invincible in this mortal world. All the soldiers below has turned to look at the and see two figures who seem try to attack the goddess they see that the, the goddess make a lot off barrier and doesn't have any expectation from those two. United. Veldora and Milam silently gathered their mana with perfect timing with each other, their mind, their movement, their breathing is all perfectly synchronized with each other. All of these is to release one attack. Do your worst mortal. The goddess shout with a mocking grin on her face. Drago of. Veldora and Milam silently reciting the names of the attack that is inspired from the scripture, the twins who seeing the barrier immediately pale down. These barrier is only got broken by Azusa because of her skill, can a martial arts. Beats those divine power. The thought come to the both of them. SMASHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHH
Falfa naturally know what Shalsha is thinking and ready her battle stance. Shalsha then cross her dagger and jump to reach Freya. Among the seven seas and the infinite sky there's nothing I can't cut. Falfa seeing this swiftly follow Shalsha as she ready drawing sword stance. Ban. Kai. The moment Falfa said the word, Falfa release all of her magicule making it seem that she is cover in some bluish white aura. Freya who seen these two approaching begin to panic, too fast. Her conchuosness caught the movement but her body is too slow to react to it, the twins then appear in both side of Freya, damn it, she thought while gritting her teeth. Veldora killing art style, tempest of the end. Veldora killing art style, realm of glaciation. In an blink of an eye, both of Freya hand got cut. Without her hand as a medium to channeling her divine power, using, divine barrier, would be much more difficult, but it doesn't matter as both of her arms is starting to regenerate. Damn it! She can even regenerate! Shout Shalsha panicking, she turned to look at Veldora and Milam, but they both is just floating there without intending to help. Anybody, please! Shout Falfa, as she is hoping somebody would stop Freya from regenerating, the twins has used their strongest attack so they basically can't do anything right now. I got this. That bastard dare to sneak attack me. I will make you pay for it, all arms deploy. Now take this and eat shit. Full B-U-R-S-T-T-T. The voices belong to Leslie as she has woken up, following that a red beam who seem much stronger than nuclear cannon launch toward Freya right side. You think you can crush my head and go out safely? Big mistake, bloodwork. Valhalla piercer, Lojanova voice can be heard in a drill of the red blood rush to Freya left side. Damn mortal. Freya shout as her deploy her divine barrier, although not as strong as before is still enough to block Leslie and Lojanova attack. These two is using their strongest attack if I can hold on until their mana gone. I'll win, thought Freya. But she forgotten something, Le Infernal has another member, the moment she thought she is going to win a face appear in front of her, peekaboo bitches. Laika has arrived. Freya got shocked for a moment, I can't take another attack on the same level as these two. Damn it, she thought, you dare to hurt Azusa Sama. Just you. Just you I couldn't let go, Laika said with incredible anger. Collapsing star. Roaring cannon. Laika shout as energy in her mouth being released to full throttle, damn you. M-O-R-T-A-L-L-L-S-S. Peng. The barrier broke off as Freya receiving a three-way all-out attack. Sent her flying to Azusa direction. Boss. Now. The members of La Infernal shouting make Azusa know what's going on. I will finish what I left. Freya. Azusa resolve her heart. 